Shanti, welcome to Vyakti Parivar. Today is day third. Now be merciful and reveal your form of being a bestower. The object signal is merciful towards the self and others. Be merciful to the distressed souls who do not have knowledge and yet are still part of your family. Let there be mercy from your heart. Mercy is also needed for the souls of the world who are without knowledge. Along with that, in order to have a fast speed in terms of the effort of the Brahmin family and in terms of self-progress, mercy is needed when merciful towards the self to progress a merciful soul then automatically has a constant attitude of unlimited disinterest. Now we will listen to Didi Ji. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Merciful and being a bestower. Which one is easy to be merciful or to become a bestower? Is there an effort? Does it take hard work? When I was reading for today's Avyakt signal, so I felt that we all have to have a mercy for ourselves, but we also need a lot of effort for self-progress. Baba is merciful. He's the ocean of mercy. The first most important thing is if somebody is distressed, if somebody is in sorrow, anything is happening to someone, it should not influence us. That is also a very high stage because we have some sympathy and then we take sorrow. Yes, we have sympathy, compassion in our heart, but still there is some influence of their distress on us. So if somebody is upset, and I should remain in my, I should be set in my self-respect. So if somebody has sorrow, then first we used to, before we used to think, oh, it's their karmic account, but there should be no influence of their sorrow on me. Similarly, if any soul, whatever the soul is going through, but it should not influence us, our stage. So that's first we have to check our stage. That how is the stage? If I wish that the Brahmin family moves forward with a good speed, then I have to increase my own speed. Because if my own speed of self-progress increases, then, then not only I will become an example in front of others, but if I also keep the feeling of mercy, then it will become complete. But if my stage is fluctuating, Sometimes I'm moving forward, sometimes I, I, am, I stop, then I can't be merciful. Then Baba said today that there is a connection with the disinterest, the unlimited disinterest. When we listen to the world, world sorrow, then we do 
get disinterest, but what is the connection between merciful and unlimited disinterest? Yes, it, it's good to become bestower, but we can only bestow as much we have. We can't give more than what we have. So we feel that we have to be merciful and being bestower. We have to do a lot of effort on ourselves and to move forward. We have to make effort not to take sorrow from anyone, not to take the stress from every, anyone. Then our through our vision, whatever we will say, whatever our words that we will say, the other soul will receive attainment. Because to have mercy means to may enable someone to receive attainment. Like Baba is the store of happiness, remover of sorrow. So if somebody's sorrow is removed, the stress is removed, their situations change, so for that, it is all about three things, thoughts, words, and action. It can happen through these three things, but our stage has to be very powerful. Like, like Dadis used to be such that whenever they would listen to any problems, whether it was a personal or it was about the program or service, she used to listen very carefully with heart. And then with very love, she would say, everything will be all right. Baba is there. He's going to take care. So everything will be fine. So there used to be a lot of uh, uh, power through their words that the soul would receive and everything would become all right. So it means that our stage should be such that every thought, every word, whatever we say to that soul, somebody asked, if somebody kills someone, then who Towards whom would you be merciful? The one who got hurt or the one who, who did that sin? So, but we think that the one who uh, received the punishment or got hurt is it is their fault. So we have to be merciful towards both because some think that why should it be towards one? And if we want them to change, then we have to have mercy and become bestower. So it is like internally, it should be clear, there should be no confusion that towards whom should I be merciful, the one who got hurt or the one who is hurting? So towards whom should I be bestower? So, I have to consider each one as a soul, each one as Baba's child, each one has their part that they're playing. So it is like there is, there should be always the treasure of knowledge filled inside. Only then can I take it out. Whenever whatever Baba's point is required that I speak that point to that soul and and have make that soul light or get make them get them to be inspired but, but at that time if i don't remember anything like that and i really feel so good today that baba said in the murli that whatever you use it becomes yours so Baba gives us so much homework through the Murli, there is homework through the signal, there is through our own churning feelings that we have so much to do. But if we keep our mind and intellect busy in it, then whatever Baba wants us to do, uh, Baba, whatever Baba uh, has desire from us, uh, we'll be able to do that. So, and we also have to think about what is the source? It's only Murli. 
So like our daddies, they used to say that sometimes they would wake up in the middle of night, they would keep a lamp beside their bed and there's always a Merli there. They'll take the Merli and start reading and then they'll fall asleep again. So we read Merli once or maybe twice, we listen, but all throughout the day, how much do we read? So whenever we feel that we used to do that on devotion, path of devotion, or we used to read scriptures, any problem, we would just take that scripture, whatever page we would open, we would read it and we would get the answer through that. Because even understanding is a power. When there is solution, then the then there is uh, uh, the the soul gets motivated. So through Merli, we all have right now cell phones. Many say we read it in the cell phone, we listen through cell phone, but I feel that you should have Merli in hand beside you and you will get any one point of Baba through which first my own stage will become good. And I have to have full, full stage and only then can I become merciful and bestower. Otherwise, uh, I will keep taking. If I see someone, whether it's because someone is, uh, you know, in sorrow, we also feel that sorrow, even our eyes become full of tears. So the one who is merciful is also gentle and soft. But here, it is a power, a power in the soul through which we are able to see, speak, listen, and we are able to bestow others. And I would feel that, yes, I bestowed becoming a merciful. So I have... I have had mercy by being bestower. So to bestow through the stage, to be merciful through the stage of bestower. So by giving, um, the mercy will be revealed whether I give through mind, through vision, through thoughts. So I have to keep myself full. I have to do a lot of churning. So whatever Baba is saying, we will be able to do it. Om Shanti. Merciful being a bestower. Merciful towards the self and others. Be merciful to the distressed souls who do not have knowledge and yet are still part of our family. Let there be mercy from your heart. Mercy is also needed for the souls of the world who are without knowledge. Along with that, in order to have a fast speed in terms of the effort of the Brahmin family and in terms of self-progress, mercy is needed when merciful towards a self to progress, a merciful soul then automatically has a constant attitude of unlimited disinterest. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.